Imagine doing an internship where you work on real global project, get mentored by industry experts, earn a rupees 1.5 lakh monthly stipend and build a resume that can open doors to top companies worldwide. Sounds unreal, right? But this is exactly what the Infosys Insta internship offers. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about the Infosys Instep Internship 2026. So I'll cover what Infosys Instep actually is, why it's considered one of the best internship in the world, eligibility criteria, stipend and benefits, selection process, application steps, and most importantly, how you should prepare to get selected. So make sure you watch this video till the end because missing even one part can cost you this opportunity. And before we start, if you are a student looking for internships, placements and career guidance, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell because I regularly share the updates on tech updates, job updates, internship updates and free courses. So do check out my videos. So let's first understand what Infosys Instep is. So Infosys Instep is the flagship global internship program of Infosys. It is a normal internship where interns do basic or repetitive tasks. Here interns work on real production level projects that actually impact the company's work. So this internship is project based internship. Here you'll get a chance to work on live projects. So here you'll get the chance to work with Infosys experts on live projects. And it is the flagship global internship by Infosys. Next, why Infosys Instep is so special? So, Infosys Instep is globally recognized and has been ranked among the top internship programs in the world multiple times. And what makes this different is it, it provides real-world project exposure, global work culture, professional mentorship and extremely strong career impact. So that's why this internship is often considered better than many regular internships offered by big tech companies. If you want to get selected in this internship and work with the team, it will add high weightage to your resume. The next why Infosys Instep is world's number one internship because it, because it ranked one multiple times global universities, participations, high quality mentorship and projects. So now let's see who can apply and what is the eligibility criteria for this. So undergraduate students like undergraduate students like third year final year students can apply postgraduate students can apply phd or research scholars can apply and the students from recognized university can apply for this internship and here are the branches and domains which are available and they are computer science and it and the domains like ai ml data science cyber security cloud computing business and management are available next coming to the internship duration and mode so typically it will be of 8 to 12 weeks. Mostly it will be up to 8 weeks and based on the project it can extend up to 12 weeks. So make sure you are available during that period. Mostly the students choose this internship during summer or winter because they can spend more time during winters or summers. And based on the project it can be on site, hybrid or virtual. On site means in the campus like in the company itself hybrid means combination of like on-site and virtual virtual is nothing but online based on the project it can be virtual so mostly it will be on-site 99 percent it will be on-site and it is flexible based on academic next coming to the benefits of infosys instep internship so it is a paid internship and wait i'll show you the stipend also from the internet so it will be from 25,000 to 50,000 per month and for international student it will be around dollar two thousand and if you get selected here you'll get global work experience and you'll get mentorship from experts and you will get certificate of completion which will add more weightage to your resume next stipend travel and accommodation it has competitive stipend as i already showed you then travel expenses are covered by infosys accommodation and food are provided by infosys and they'll also provide health insurance so don't miss such a wonderful opportunity so now let's see how to apply for this internship and before applying you need your college mail id so keep it ready so after the application process i'll explain what are the rounds and what you need to prepare i'll share the resources so watch the video till end so go to the browser and type infosys instep 
you'll get the first link click on the first link you will be redirected to their page. Here you can see apply now button. Click on apply now. And here you can see. So university email ID is required. It is mandatory to apply for this internship. So if you don't have your college email ID. You can just ask in your college. You can ask to your respective HOD. They will provide you. And in case if they don't provide you. Then you are not eligible for this internship. So try to persuade them and get your college email ID. And then apply for this internship. And here is a tip. So don't go alone and ask for the mail ID. Take few of your friends and tell your HOD. Uh, this is the reason for the mail ID. We need to apply for the job or internship. So we need this. If you ask like this, they'll give it easily. And as you know, unity is strength. If you go uh, with your friends and ask, they'll surely give it. So give it a try. And don't worry, there is no deadline for this internship but the sooner you apply there are high chances of getting shortlisted because at the beginning there will be many projects so they will shortlist you based on your skills and resume so try to apply as soon as possible so ask for your college email id in your college and in case by mistake and in case you have filled the application form through your personal email id and you want to transfer it to your college mail id then you can just mail here that is instep portal at the rate infosys.com they'll help you transfer your application only if you have your university email id they have already mentioned that if you don't have a college mail id you're not eligible for this internship so make sure you're getting your email id from the college and applying for this opportunity don't miss this opportunity so now click on login. If you already have the account, you can sign in. But if you but if you don't have account and you're new for this, you can just click on sign up. So here is the form which you need to fill. You need to fill the first name, last name, your email ID. That is your college email ID. Then password and confirm the password and click on sign up. Click on sign up. So you need to verify your email. Go to your Gmail and check the message. So you need to verify your email. Check out your mail. Click on verify my email, then click here to proceed. So your email will be verified. And you need to upload your resume. Before even applying this, in the end of the video, I will be telling the resume tip. So after watching the full video, do apply for this. So to avoid any mistake, after watching this full video, apply for this internship. You need to upload your resume here. In my previous videos, I have explained how to prepare a resume. And what are the mistakes you need to avoid in a resume? Everything. So you can check that videos. So you can check those videos from my channel. Or I will post the link in the description. From there also you can check. So after posting your resume. After uploading your resume. You need to fill the details like name. Phone number. Date of birth. Graduation. University email ID. Region. University name. University country. Current academic level. Stream. Current academic year. Expected year of graduation, major, minor. Here major, uh, here, major is nothing but from which branch are you. Like if you are from CSE, you can enter computer science or CSE. Then grading system. Like if you want to mention in CGPA, you can uh, select that or percentage. You can select. And fill all other details and submit the form. Next, application timeline. So this application will be open throughout the year. You can apply anytime. And it is rolling selection process. You can apply anytime, but early application increases chances. Because so if you so if you apply early, there will be more projects to work on. So it will be easy for them to shortlist you. So try to apply as soon as possible. Next, how the selection process will be. So first profile screening, that is they'll check your resume, they'll check your profile and they'll shortlist you based on your resume. So make sure you're optimizing your resume. Make sure you're adding good projects. Make sure you're adding your achievements, work experience and everything. So if you want the resume video I have already posted in my channel, you can check out. And then after your resume gets shortlisted, you will be called for interview round that is technical interview. If you qualify for technical interview, then you will be called for HR interview. And then you will get the final offer if you qualify in HR interview. Next, projects offered to interns. So real world Infosys projects will be offered to you. 
I mean to the interns. So real world problems like client based problems will be working on and you'll be working on research and innovation tasks. Next, the skills required to get selected. You must have strong fundamentals, programming basics, problem solving skills, communication skills. So mostly prepare the topics like arrays, linked list, dynamic programming. So advanced DSA is not needed here and prepare similar questions of Infosys. I'll give the lead code link in the description. Please check. Next, resume tips for Infosys Insta. Highlight your projects, mention tools and technologies clearly. Keep resume simple and clean. Then, statement of purpose. Like in statement of purpose, you need to mention why Infosys Insta, why only this and why this project. Your skills and goals. This will be needed later. For now, it's not needed. Then, interview pattern and questions. So, the, in the interview, they'll mostly ask on your projects and they'll ask technical fundamentals. Behavioral questions like HR questions, why do we want to join here, why should we hire you. So if you want such kind of questions and answers, you can just let me know in the comment box. I'll surely upload a video on that. Next, preparation strategies. So revise core subjects like OSD, VMS, SC, SQL and basic DSA or topics like arrays, linked list, dynamic programming. Then practice coding, build mini projects. Build effective projects. Two projects, two strong projects are enough. Then practice for mock interviews. Then common mistakes to avoid. Next, is Infosys Insta worth it? As it is totally worth it. Because it provides high brand value you will get. And you have career growth. You get global exposure. So it is totally worth it. Then final tips to crack Infosys Insta. Apply early because you'll have more chance to get shortlisted. Then choose projects wisely and prepare consistently. So that's all for today's video. If you have any doubts regarding this video or any other videos from my channel, you can just drop them in the comment box. And if you found this video helpful, please like, hype, share because your one like can reach many people. So support it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next video. Till then keep learning. Bye-bye.